Hi, my name is Jeff Lavery, and I'm one of the co-founders of TheCommonGear.com, a site that is built for car curation, maintenance tracking, and heavy documentation. When it comes to collecting cars, restoring cars, or just being a casual enthusiast, records are critical. Building that story, building that timeline, and showing the next potential owner how much time and money you've invested in a certain car is critical to getting the maximum value for it. In an effort to launch the site and drive some awareness into what we're doing while we're still in sort of a beta mode, uh, my partner and I are selling a few of our own vehicles these next few weeks. Uh, one of the first cars going up for grabs is a 1991 Saab 900 Turbo SE convertible. This car is one of 300 that Saab painted in Monte Carlo yellow. They offered it in uh, a separate shade of black that was also sold in very limited numbers but the Monte Carlo yellow cars are generally more sought after. I spent the better part of a year looking for one of these cars. I found it in Florida with the original owner where it had been relegated to second or third car status and more often than not just wasn't being used. I had the car shipped up to Rhode Island where I commenced a manual conversion on this car as it was equipped with the standard three-speed automatic which is not a great transmission. Uh, all work was carried out by Contact Saab in Warwick, Rhode Island, which is one of the foremost uh, Saab experts in the country and certainly in the Northeast. They did an exceptional job, low mileage, uh, five-speed manual from a donor car with a new clutch, resurfaced flywheel. Uh, car runs and drives brilliantly. Uh, as part of the conversion, it's one of those jobs where it's hard not to touch other areas. So. Uh, as you'll see in the maintenance portfolio on the commongear.com where the listing for this car is, uh, the records will show that as part of the conversion, pretty much every system was touched from uh, in the cooling system to obviously the transmission to electrical to suspension, bushings, et cetera, et cetera, because once you take the engine out, you've got all this great space to work in, and it just makes sense to do the work while you have the the, uh, the engine removed, the transmission dropped. So this car really has been substantially mechanically restored. Uh, it also has had some uh, subtle upgrades in the form of uh, Coney adjustable shocks from Abbott Racing in the UK. It's been lowered slightly with a set of sports springs. Uh, it rides on the desirable and typical upgrade of the 16 inch super aero wheels. And it has the European market H4 glass headlights. Uh, other than that, the car has not been messed with. It's, um, it's very original in every other way. It has a clean title, no accidents in its Carfax. And uh, other improvements over the last few months include a new convertible top, uh, full detailing, uh, along with a uh, R134A conversion and uh, repairs to the air conditioning system. Air conditioning works great. Car drives down the road brilliantly. And uh, it even retains its original factory stereo system with a working power antenna, equalizer, uh, all those great details. Though the car really is a turnkey car. There's a little over 152,000 miles on it. Um, so I encourage you to check out the maintenance portfolio on this 91 Saab 900 Turbo SE. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out through the site. Um, and uh, we look forward to talking with you about some of the other cars we have coming up for grabs in the next few weeks. Thanks for checking it out. Have a great day.